Did somebody tell you to add an SSH key to your account, but you don't know what they mean? Then stay tuned because this video is what you need. Let me show you. In order to generate our SSH key, I will be following this tutorial from Atlassian. But since you clicked on the video, you can follow me. Let's bring in the terminal. In the terminal, type ssh-keygen. And if you click the enter right now, it would generate an RSA key, which is deprecated in Bitbucket. So let's put an algorithm and let's do that by typing dash T space capital E D two five five one nine. This will create a key with elliptic curves algorithm. In addition to that, do another space dash B space two fifty six. This means that this will generate a 256 byte key. Press enter and now you will get asked which file you want to save the key to. It is going to default to your home directory slash dot SSH and I recommend you keep it as a default. So press enter and now you'll have to enter a passphrase. I highly recommend setting up a passphrase because if your computer gets compromised, your private key will be a lot more difficult to crack. So let me do just that. And of course I didn't get it on the first try. Let's try it again. Small tip, you won't see anything as you type for security reasons. But don't worry, you are typing. As you can see, I myself mistyped the passphrase a couple of times. So don't worry about that. When the key is generated, you will get this nice graphic. And now you will need to extract a public key. In order to do that, type cat space tilde slash dot ssh slash id underscore ed25519 dot pub. And that is your public key. Now copy that and go to your Bitbucket settings. Let's bring in Bitbucket. You can find your SSH key management under this little cog icon right here and under personal Bitbucket settings. Click that and go to SSH keys. As you can see, I have a couple of keys already added here, but they're already deprecated because they were RSA keys. Click add key. Do a label for your own information. This is going to be my Mac studio and paste the key that you copied from your terminal. Click add key and you're done. In GitHub, click on your profile picture and go to settings. Then go to SSH and GPG keys and click new SSH key. Name this however you want. I'm going to make name this Mac studio and again, paste in your key. Click add SSH key and you're done. After you restart your computer or re-log in, your key is no longer loaded in memory. In order to load your key into memory, type ssh-add as a single word and enter the passphrase for your key. You will now see that the identity has been added and you can continue using git as you please. Let's try and clone a repository. I'm going to clone a repository from another tutorial of mine. Git clone. Now, if you're doing this for the first time, you will get asked to add authenticity of the host, be it GitHub or Bitbucket. If you get asked that, just type yes and press enter. And the repository has been cloned. Junior developers sometimes ask me, should I generate only one key pair? Or should I generate a separate key pair on separate computers? Well, my suggestion is that you should generate a separate key pair on each and every computer that you own. And here's why. Imagine your computer gets stolen and somebody is able to extract data from it. You would be able to revoke only one public key on your account and just continue on with your work. Now, if you found this video helpful, please consider giving it a like and subscribing to the channel. And I'll see you in another video.